William Wallace was born in the west of Scotland in a small village called Eldersley. The second of three sons, he knew he would never inherit any of his family's wealth. So he studied to the priesthood. But for a man studying to be a priest, he was a violent man and had a very quick temper. He got in trouble fighting with English soldiers on many occasions as he persecuted his countrymen. He gathered like-minded men about him and they attacked the English supplies lines. He became a nuisance to them. Hessel Rigg, the sheriff of Lanark, set out to arrest Wallace. He knew Wallace had taken refuge in the house of his father-in-law. So he burnt the house down. But Wallace had escaped, but his wife had not. Wallace's wife was burned alive in the fire. When William Wallace heard of this, he lost his famous temper. He went down to Lanark with 30 men and boarded the soldiers into their own barracks. He dragged the sheriff into the middle of the town, killed him in front of all the people. Then now to the English, William Wallace was a murdering, treacherous Scot. But to the people of the South and West, this man became a great leader, a hero who fights. When no one else will raise a hand, they attacked the garrisons of the English, taking weapons and armour, becoming stronger. Up in the northeast, they followed another man called Andrew de Morey. So when Wallace and de Morey met, they had the makings of a new army. Discover more about William Wallace, the patriot and martyr who became Scotland's national hero at the National Wallace Monument in Stirling.